What's up YouTube? Game Over 86 coming back with another video. And in this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys my opinions on the upcoming Nintendo E3. So, for everybody out there that wants me to do an E3, I am going to have some other videos coming up in the in the next week on the PS3 and then I'm going to do a video on the Xbox and give you guys my opinions on what they what they should bring and what they're possibly going to bring. And I'm going to start out with the Nintendo Switch. Um, I made some videos earlier in the past, so if you guys are new to this channel and you guys have seen my face lurking around out there inside the recommended list, which is a good thing, that means that people are watching and listening and possibly subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. For all my returning subscribers, thank you very much. And if any of you guys out there that haven't still followed me on Twitter, make sure you go follow me on Twitter, and I'll leave a link down at the bottom at the end of this video. You guys go check me out. Make sure you follow me there because I'm going to also be posting up just some funny pictures. And also, later on today, I am going to be streaming at 12 o'clock noon Central Time. So, for everybody out there, get ready for that. I'm going to be streaming God of War for about an hour. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys as well and seeing you guys in the stream. So, make sure you stop by there. Check me out. Say hi. What's up? Come visit me for an hour, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway... I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch E3 coming up, give you guys some of my ideas, some of the, the things that they're going to be talking about. So if you guys sit back, enjoy, get ready to listen, my opinions on E3 Nintendo. Okay, so we're talking about Nintendo E3. And, and recently, I'm not bragging, but I did say a while back ago, back in the day when I made these videos, and you guys can go check them out, and I'll even leave. Um, a little thumbnail or I'll leave a little pin or a card or whatever they want to call it because I can't really remember off the top of my head right now where the videos are and you guys can go check them out but I did talk about in videos ports that need to be ported um, and then that's the name of the video is ports that need to be ported in the video I, I noticed that e, you know E3 and Nintendo has been leaking some information which is kind of sad because I always like that that suspense that that factor that shell shock you know that you get from watching E3 something that's really been near and dear to me and watching these over the years it's just awesome to see that when you see it on that day it's just like oh it's like a new it's like brings you back to the in the 90s you know when you didn't find out about a new toy until you went to Toys R Us or you didn't you know know about something until you seen it advertised but you couldn't rewind it because they didn't have DVR and they didn't have all that stuff so it was kind of cool that um, E3 was like one of them big shows that nobody knew anything about until that day. And it's kind of sad that some of these things are leaking. So that's kind of a bummer. But if I may start, what I'm going to start out with is uh, some of the ones that we already kind of knew were coming. And possibly they're just going to be getting talked about. Uh, Metroid Prime 4 is one video that a lot of people are uh, talking about. Obviously, they've already hyped it up earlier in the N Nintendo Direct and the Mini Direct. They also are uh, Pokemon, <clears throat> some kind of RPG. I'm sure it's going to have the two versions. And, uh, you know, for the eighth gener with the eighth generation or whatever you want to call it, um, Bayonetta 3, we already know that's going to be coming too as well. Uh, Pikmin 4, um, I like the Pikmin franchise. There's a lot of people that played Pikmin 1 and 2 on the GameCube. They didn't play 3 on the Wii U, and it, it was good. Um, I think that, it, it, you know, it's just a guarantee that they're going to be keeping that franchise alive. The Legend of Zelda, though, Skyward Sword is what I want to get to right now. And I'll, and I'll continue down the list on what I think. Um, what they say possibly could be leaked. But I talked about this in games that I believe should have been ported over any of these Wii U ports right now. For a lot of the people that watch these videos, I get it. I understand why people want it ported. And <clears throat> I'm not dogging that they're porting every game. I was, I was kind of dogging them because you got an online service coming up, but yet you're porting games that really don't have online, like big time connections. Um, besides, you know, Splatoon 2, but when I'm saying port is you're porting Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. It's a fun game. It wasn't really like a big time Wii U game. Um, you're porting Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's a fun game, but like you can beat it in two, three hours. It's it's not really gonna like make people want to buy the subscription, even though it's twenty bucks a year or seven ninety nine for three months, or I think it's like three ninety nine for a month or something like that. It's not really that expensive. But they said they're bringing Skyward Sword remake possibly leaked and this is what i've been wanting them to bring because it was on the wii u or excuse me the wii i apologize and the controllers and stuff like that it was one of the zelda games i actually personally finished myself it was fun it was just unique and hard though to an extent because i didn't always like using the nunchucks okay i i didn't like 
I didn't like it. I wanted to use a regular remote just like the original Zeldas and all that other stuff we were used to playing. So out of all the games, that was one of my big games that I wanted them. Um, and it looks like they're obviously going to be possibly HD remaking it um, you know, from the Wii to the Switch. So that'll be a good thing. The other thing I see is Super Mario Maker 2, and it says it's not a sequel. It's just a port. Well, in my opinion, I hope that they port everything over from that game. If you're going with your online service coming this fall, that's one game I also talked about in my other videos that I would have ported first. I would have hyped up first to show them. Now, I know they'll probably wait until E3. I even say that in my old videos. Yes, you're probably going to wait until E3. That's fine. I get that. But you got to have you got to have one of them games that was really big. And that was one big Wii U game that just sold awesome. It got a lot of people online because you could be playing them games online, other maps. So that game's great coming. Um, the other game, Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Switch Edition, the ultimate version. Obviously, it's going to have the 3DS, the Wii U, and possibly a lot of DLC added on. Luigi's Mansion 3. That Now, that's cool because in my old video, I talked about why would you port um, you know, Luigi's Mansion to the 3DS when, when Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon was a lot better. Um, and it's on the 3DS as well. So to me, I would have just ported that game to the Switch because I think that game was worth a port. I wouldn't have ported it to the 3DS to me that I just didn't believe it. It'll, I mean, it, it'll sell because it's Luigi, but I still don't think they should have ported it there. It's great to see Luigi's Mansion 3 possibly coming. Um, I played the first one on the GameCube. It's good to see Luigi getting some love again because he don't have a lot of video games, and the ones that he does, he's never been the main character. Heck, most people take Waligi or, or Wario and all these other guys over him, and that's sad. It's really sad because Luigi's the man, and Luigi was cool in uh, you know, Mario 2 NES. Really awesome game. Wasn't better than Peach, though. But anyway... Uh, going on, WarioWare, that one's going to be a good one, a new WarioWare game, that would be fun. I played the uh, old one on the GameCube, and it was fun. Um, some mini games and some other stuff like that, WarioWare. Uh, I, that would be cool to see a Waligi game, in my opinion, over WarioWare. That's just my opinion, personally. I think Waligi is missing a game. He hasn't had one. I think he's big enough to get one. And that would be cool to have the villain, kind of like Wario Land and Wario World and all this stuff that I own. They were great. Bring Waligi. That would be a cool one to have. Um, Volt is in development, um, and, or Volt is the developed, and um, and a lot of the people that are working with it. It says right here, categories, mini games, Wario, honestly, uh, Jimmy T, and the Nine Volt, um, developed by Intelligent Systems. So I mean, hopefully that's going to be a great company that makes these great games. I don't know a lot about them, obviously, so I plead the fifth on that, guys. And Animal Crossing, for a lot of you Animal Crossing fans, that's going to be a good one. I see that. Um, I played some of them. My kids have played some of them. They're fun games. Uh, they're addictive. Um, but me, personally, I'm not going to pick that game up just because it's not that fun uh, for me. There's other games that I could be spending my money on. Unless I see that game at like 30 bucks, then I'll pick it up. If it's $60, I'm not, I'm not messing with it. Um, Fire Emblem, hopefully they'll actually get uh, Fire Emblem going because that's a, it has a pretty good following. And um, I know that they brought the other one over, um, Fire Emblem, for the Switch when it first came. So hopefully they'll bring a new Fire Emblem. That was a fun game if you guys like that type of... Uh, to me, it's a... Uh, to me, it's it's a good RPG game. JRPG or whatever you want to call it. Um, it. To some people, they may not like it, especially if it gets released around, you know, P Pokemon or any of these other big hitters. So, I mean, that's going to be a tough one. For a lot of people, if Fire Emblem's put at like in May or March of next year, and <clears throat> there's not a lot of big heavy hitters there, then I think it'll sell better than if you put it with, you know, um, some of these big hitters that we've been waiting on. Don't put them in the same month. Come on, Nintendo! I know you can do that, and you better do that. Um, the other games that I see is Yoshi. We already knew about, obviously, and I seen some of the gameplay. It looks fun. It has a mix between, to me. Yoshi's uh, Wally World, Wooly World, where the uh, yarn and all that, and then um, uh, Little Big Planet. That's what it reminds me of to me. Um, I was wanting kind of like a Yoshi game, kind of like a platformer, like a Mario game. That would be cool. Um, it looks like they're going to just be keeping it kind of the same kind of Yoshi. You know, you get the eggs, you throw them. Um, yeah, you can flip the map. It does look kind of cool. I may not get it on day one. I may wait until it drops in price because um, the game just didn't really appeal to me. I know a lot of you guys out there, you may be saying, oh, 
this game's awesome, it looks cool, that may be. I'm not judging the game. I, I haven't played it. I've just seen some gameplay. And for me, it kind of has too many of the old school things. I want a new Yoshi game. Uh, the next one's Mario Party 11 in the Mario Party franchise. This is the 11th one, so this is crazy because um, I think 9 and 10, but they got a lot of flack because they were all in the car together, and you didn't get to separate the board pieces. I do like the old school way of playing it. I didn't like how everybody rode in the truck or the car or whatever, and um, and it made it just kind of all bunched up. Like, you could never be around this person over here. Like, everybody's getting that star or everybody that, you know, you hit one, but yet you're bringing them with you. So technically, everybody else was moving. And, uh, you know, Nintendo came out and said that, oh, well, we didn't want people, you know, they weren't paying attention when it was their turn. Well, make it more fun. Like, we didn't have this problem when Mario 1, 2, and 3 all came out uh, on the Nintendo 64, all the way, you know, up until 6, I think was one of my favorite ones on the GameCube. But make it fun then, again. Like, don't make them so easy. Make them challenging. Make them an easy mode, a medium mode, and a hard mode, and I think it would keep people on their toes. Obviously, don't take so long of a delay to hit the hit the numbers or hit the box, you know, to move your pieces. Keep it open. Keep it a bigger world, so I think more people will be in tune. So they do hopefully need to change that franchise around if they do come. And then it says a new unknown IP. It's a horror game developed by Retro Studios. So uh, a horror game, in my opinion, and this is what they're saying, I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's Eternal Darkness, and I hope that it's like a remake, or not a, a remake, but they do say a new unknown IP, but if it was me, man, I would make some of the cool classic uh, horror games that were on the uh, GameCube, which weren't a lot, but there were still some. Um, if there was a new IP game out there, obviously, um, if it was me, you could make it more uh, crazy than what people are thinking. This is Nintendo, so they do have an imagination, but take a Nintendo created characters like like i said waligi's looking for his thing make a waligi horror game and i know a lot of people may out there think wow really game over 86 like are you really gonna do that the reason why i say that is because it's something new it's something different than what we've all seen kind of like luigi's mansion so if they take waligi excuse me luigi's mansion if they take waligi though and make it into a horror game and i'm just saying a little base platform but it still could be a horror game a lot of people may not take it like that, but I would. And that's because I have an imagination. I want to use my imagination. It don't have to be all about, you know, it don't have to be about violence, blood, and all this other stuff, killing and whatnot. I mean, it shouldn't have to be about that. I mean, yeah, I know a horror game is, but you can still have that animated, um, cartoony kind of stuff. So um, a new unknown, unknown IP, we won't know until E3 possibly on this. I'm sure some people are speculating right now what it could be. Um, to me, I don't know, so I'm not going to speculate, but I mean, if it was me picking one, I would want like a, a character that we're not used to seeing in this kind of realm um, become like a mass, you know, killer or something like Waligi could be, um, you know, you could pair him up with Wario or you could just pair him by himself and, you know, and, and literally you could just, you know, people are saying, oh, well, it's a new Mario. No, it could be a Waligi game. You could bring new characters into it. So that's my opinion on that part. Obviously, just to re-go through it all, you know, and I know people say that, but, like, some of these games are fun. Some of these games are going to be big, big heavy hitters. So I'm shooting for some of these games to drop, obviously, this year, and then some following into the early spring, and then next year, summer, maybe possibly fall of 2019. So anyway, that's my, that's my thoughts on all these games, my opinions on them. I know I ain't got, like, videos and whatnot, but my uh, Elgato I've been setting up, um, and I'm not making excuses. I just need to, I just need to record more games. But like I said, it's, it's so hard to get all these games lined up and record each one and sliced and saved that I just figured I'd give you guys that part. I will have some PS4, maybe some game recording and some X Xbox game recording when I'm talking about the E3 there. So that's a plus. I know you guys say my mic isn't that good. I'm saving up for a new mic. Hopefully I can make some money and, uh, and save on this mic. So anyway, I, I'll leave a video, uh, where it talks about, um, uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and some other games that I believe should be ported. Um, you guys go check that video out if you would, obviously. Just, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about this video. And if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, follow me on Twitter, even my returning subscribers. Follow me on Twitter, hit the bell icon. Also, um, share this video. Hit a like, 
And um, the big thing is I'm going to be streaming, like I said, once again on uh, God of War later on today. It's 12 o'clock. That's noon central time, guys. Okay? So I appreciate it if you guys all swing by. If you guys come out and support the stream, support the channel. You guys come say hi. We'll talk. You guys ask me some questions that you guys want to ask. Make sure that you guys always, always, always stay safe wherever you guys are at. Game Over 86. We'll see you guys later on today. I'm always out. Peace, guys.